you got it. It's Blima Celine and welcome back to my channel. So today we have another decluttering video and these videos have been super popular especially if you guys are watching Marie Kondo on Netflix. Ever since that show came out everybody's doing like cleaning videos, organization videos and decluttering videos and I actually have a whole series here on my channel where we decluttered our house. We decluttered all of my clothes which I condensed um, five closets into one. It's a little bit insane. I was very shocked when I first did that. And then we did the kitchen, the bathroom. We also did the makeup room, which is where I'm at right now. This is my glam room. This is where I have like my shoes, my purses, um, my clothes, my makeup. And it was a little bit out of hand. I decluttered my makeup and got rid of things that were expired. But fast forward a year later now, it's going to be about a year, I think. And I'm back to square one and that is because I get a lot of these products sent out to me a lot of brands reach out and they send me like their latest collections I have a lot of makeup and some that I need to get rid of as well as some that is expired so I'm gonna show you guys I'm going to decolor this. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know for whatever reason, it was so much harder for me to do it this time around than the first time. So I'm gonna show you guys the process and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys a quick little room tour because I get tons of questions. And this video is in collaboration with my friend, Brianna Kay. You guys are going to absolutely fall in love with her because I actually found her channel about a year and a half ago before we moved into this house because her house is very similar to ours and I wanted to get an idea of how to decorate each room and just like what to do with this space and my mind was blown I was like oh my god this girl has like a home theater inside of her house and it is goals she is totally goals so you guys should totally check her out she is so cute she has a very similar channel to mine where we talk about like home decoration cleaning lifestyle decluttering and all that fun stuff but she also has the cutest little family you guys are going to fall in love with her she's super sweet and down-to-earth you guys make sure to head on over to her channel after you guys are done watching this video and also follow her on Instagram because she's super cute. You guys are going to totally love her and you guys can thank me later. All right, so now let's get started. All right, so before we get started, I want to give you guys a little preview of what we are going to be dealing with today because there are just so many different things in each drawer. A lot of these things are not even makeup. And then I do have some drawers that are very organized and I know exactly what's inside. So there's just miscellaneous things here and there and we're going to tackle each one of them. For example, this drawer right here is separated by category when it comes to foundations, um, when it comes to eyeshadows and also lip products. But there's a lot that are expired and some that I really don't want or care for and we're going to be getting rid of those when I throw them out. We are going to be doing this the Kanmari style, which is to bring out everything from that one category out on the floor, on the bed, on the counter, wherever you can see them, so that way you can see everything that you own. And then that way you can get rid of the things that you don't want. But we're not going to put anything away yet. So we're going to clear out each and every single drawer before we put anything away. Because that way it allows you to see things that you have doubles of or things that you have extra of. Or just it allows you to reduce a lot more. So that way you're not putting anything away yet. So this took me several hours and I was pretty exhausted by the end of this, not gonna lie. I didn't put everything away the first night. You guys will see that I'll come back to it a different day because I was actually trying to catch a flight the next day. So I went ahead and I laid everything out and it was super difficult to get rid of a lot of things, but the things that were the most easiest were probably like lip products that I knew that had expired and also like uh, face products like foundations or anything like that. So I went ahead and I made several piles because I was going to give away um, some products to like my sister, my mom, my friends that maybe it was a palette that I used one time and I didn't really use it. I didn't get much use out of it. I felt guilty throwing it away. And the last time I did this decluttering video, I got yelled at. They were like, oh my goodness, I could have totally used that palette. Like, I've only used it once. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll make a pile and I'll let you guys decide. Let you guys go through it. And then whatever's left over, I can throw away. So that's what I did. And then there were also a lot of brand new products. 
So I was like, those things I could also happily give away or do a giveaway for you guys, which I plan to do on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me on Instagram because I will be doing a lot of brand new makeup giveaway. And this laundry basket that I have underneath at my desk is where I put some brand new products that come in and I'm trying to try out but because they are buried underneath each other I don't have time to look through it sometimes and so I'm like you know what I have to look through it because it's just being wasted there sitting in there so I went ahead and I looked through it too and I made piles for things that I was going to give away since I knew that I hadn't used them. Okay, we finally cleared the vanity, so I went ahead and I wiped it down so that I can also get some stuff out of the IKEA drawers that I have. They are the Alex IKEA drawers, and so I'm going to go ahead and take all of the things out of there. These are just random miscellaneous things. They're not makeup related, but since this is my makeup drawer, I wanted to clear that out too. And a lot of these things were like hair bands. Um, what else like bobby pins just a bunch of random things and I'm like why do I have garbage in here like this is like a junk drawer and then since I already had some things organized I left them in there but then eventually I brought them out um, but I just want to throw some things away before I brought every single little thing out if that makes sense I had a strategy I knew everything had to be out but I was trying to throw things away and also organize them in boxes as I was going through it which helped out the process a lot more because these are a lot of little things and it was kind of frustrating and I wanted to quit halfway through but we got through it Something that I really want to make space for is to put products that I often travel with, like travel size products or just things that I know that I use and that are essentials whenever I go anywhere. So I made sure to clear out two different bins where I can put these kind of items and that was kind of a goal for me. I'm like, I want it just to be simple so I don't have to go through all of these different makeup products or things that I don't use and make space for that. So that's another little thing to think about too when you feel like quitting. It's like, okay, what is the end goal here? So far, this is the outcome of it. This is the makeup that I'm going to be keeping. And then over here, I made a few piles for friends and family. So we have different bags and boxes that are going to go to happy homes. And then we have a pile of garbage over here and I already took one outside. But for right now, this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have realized that makeup can be kind of messy sometimes and a little dirty. So it also gave me the opportunity to go ahead and clean everything through once I was done. And then... These are specifically made for Alex drawers. They are from Sony Cosmetics. I will have them linked down below and they're for you to store your makeup, which is pretty awesome. It's not the complete length of it, but it is very helpful, which is awesome because it gives you enough storage space up to where you open it, but not all the way in the back, which kind of sucks, but that's okay um, because they are meant for the opening so I was able to organize everything really neatly in there and it just looks so much better I could see all of my palettes and I could easily just do my makeup without having to like dig through things and now I know what I have and I can try out some new products before I had the Sony cosmetics drawer organizers I actually bought these from Target and Walmart so they are available but um, they do kind of like ramble around as you open the drawers. So with these smaller ones, I'm going to get rid of them. And then the other ones I'm going to be using in my other drawers, like in the bathroom and kitchen. Are you guys ready to see the transformation? So this is my main makeup drawer because this is where I sit down and do my makeup. So it's an easy reach. And that is what those drawers look like before. And then this is what it looks like afterwards. So in the very top drawer, I do have some essentials, just like some makeup wipe removers and tools. Then I have my highlighters, bronzers, and also my powders. And then 
on the other drawer I have concealers, foundations, primers, setting sprays, and setting powders. And it makes me so happy because everything looks so well organized. Then we have new products that I want to try out. Like something I'm really excited about so they are easy reach. And then at the bottom since they are heavy I have all of my palettes. And then the other drawers are also really nice and organized and I even have some empty drawers so I can add some more things and not feel like everything is cluttered. So this is what these drawers look like over here and I was able to condense the lip products down to these that I know I'm going to be using and it makes me so happy. Alright, so now let me show you guys a quick room tour. This is, like I said, where I keep all of my accessories, my clothes, and also my makeup. This is also the space where I keep my filming lights, and I often do like intros and outros here, so this is where it all happens. So let me talk to you guys about the storage system that I have for my shoes and my purses and also like accessories, belts or anything like that. And I got these from Ikea as well as these drawers where I store my makeup. So these are the Billy bookcases and I just bought the glass doors at the same place at Ikea and then I bought the handles separately. I do have a video showing you guys all the purses that I have, like a little story behind them, where I got them, and any information like that. So I will also have that link down below. But here's just a quick glance of what's inside because I often get asked to do like a purse. Um, collection but um, I don't have that many purses ever since I decluttered my accessories these are the ones that bring me joy that spark joy and that I absolutely love all right so moving on over here to my vanity I have some lipsticks from Mac and these are all the shades that I love and that I use and then I also have some from Ardell so I have just like my makeup brushes my mirror some other makeup products that are really pretty in pink that I want to stand out so I put them on top of my vanity and then this mirror I got from Wayfair I'll have links down below to everything so you guys can find them as well and this mirror is so gorgeous I love it it's huge it's big and it makes a huge statement in my room as well and it's really fun to get ready I feel like a princess getting ready when I am in this glam room and then over here I just have like a little um, flower arrangement with some earrings and then this mirror I actually found at Walmart and it is mostly like an accessory whenever I do videos or anything like that because it just looks so pretty and then this desk that I have I got from Target and on my walls I have flower decals which you can totally customize on your own and they are from Urban Walls that will also be linked down below so you can find them easily there are several different kinds so I'll show you guys exactly which ones I use I will have a playlist of the decluttering series that I have here on my channel so that way if you guys are interested, if you guys want to see more, if you guys want to see the very first like decluttering for the clothes, that was like insane. I think that was my biggest declutter. Like I'll have it where you guys can find it at the end of this video and I'll talk to you guys next time. Muchos besos. Mwah.